what is going on guys welcome back to another swift video today's video is a little different instead of getting into the code we're going to be talking all about app icons and specifically a couple secrets that you can use to create your own app icons so here we are on the apple developer page about app icons where they obviously show some of these icons here that are baked into ios as well as go over some of the principles that they use themselves and they encourage other developers to use. So embrace simplicity, provide a single focus, uh, making recognizable. A lot of these things are fairly obvious, but um, this list is longer than what I remember it being. So they definitely snuck in a few more here. Uh, so it looks like they have test your icon against different wallpapers. I have not seen this one before, but it's a good call out. But anyways, all this said, make sure you destroy the like button as per usual. Enough of reading these docs, let's get into all this goodness about app icons. All right, so first things first, I went ahead and created a basic Xcode project here, boot up a simulator, you can just hit that run button. I've got the 12 Pro Max here booted up on the right and your blank app will be running. So we're not gonna actually work in the app, but what we're gonna care about is this guy right here, of course, the app icon. So first of all, where the heck is this coming from? So it gets created as an image set in your uh, XE assets that Xcode gives you by default in the template. And it's this one right here called app icon. So right off the bat, you'll see that you're gonna need an icon in a variety of different sizes. And this is so the system can scale it up and down for retina displays, for higher uh, resolution devices, and also of course, lower resolution devices. But going through these and creating a, an app icon by yourself is hard enough, but then again, sizing it to all of these different sizes is a major pain in the butt. So what's a better way to do this? So the first thing that we're gonna go over is a website, which is uh, really not well known, but it's uh, honestly amazing. It's called Photopia, uh, or Photopia, depending how you say it. So photopea.com. And what this is, is basically Photoshop in your browser. So this is a web app built uh, in JavaScript and it's amazing to absolutely say the least. So uh, first of all, for those of you wondering, uh, it looks exactly like Photoshop and uh, there's, you know, Adobe has no issue with this. It's totally illegal to use, totally free. So you're gonna come here and create a new project. And first of all, they give you all these templates, which is uh, also pretty sweet, but an app icon should be 1024 by 1024. So we're gonna go ahead and create this here and you can leave 72 for the DPI, which is the resolution more or less, and you can go ahead and create it. Now, for those of you familiar with Photoshop, you, the palette here will look familiar, but for those of you who aren't, you can fairly easily drag your own images on here. The tools that I'll call out uh, is this one right here. We can create rectangles and circles. I'll call it the text tool as well. You've got a gradient and bucket. So uh, we can create basically our own app icon here for free in the browser uh, with a really, really solid set of tools. Now, for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna be lazy and grab an app icon for an existing app. So let's go ahead and grab the app icon for, uh, let's do Instagram. And uh, let's see if we can find it here. Now, obviously app icons from other apps are copyrighted, so this is for, just educational purposes only. So definitely go take a look and create your own. But we're gonna go ahead and grab this app icon and I'm gonna throw it onto my desktop. So we've got it right here. And the first thing you'll notice is that it is in fact a little small. So that's okay for now. Um, but the next thing that I wanted to go over is this other website called appicon.co. And this is also pretty sweet. Basically you can, uh, you know, upload your app icon here and it will convert it into all the different sizes that you could possibly want for uh, iPhone, iPad, watch OS, Mac OS, and they even support Android for all of our Android friends out there. But uh, this is a tool that I personally don't actually use. So I use a tool called uh, Asset Catalogs. So Asset Catalog is, I believe it's a paid tool. I think they have a free version as well. Um, but this, is a, this video isn't sponsored by any means. However, I bought this tool many years ago when it first came out. And the reason I really like it is because it's uh, A, a native app. I'm pretty sure App Icon also has an app on the Mac App Store that's free. I have not looked, but you should definitely check it out. But what I like about this tool is you simply drag it in. And not only can you resize and stuff on here, but you can pick between, uh, once again, iOS, tvOS, Game Center icons, watchOS, 
you've got universal it's, a, it's the whole nine yards basically so what you can go ahead and go ahead and here and do is you can even do things like launch image so um, if you want a launch image screen you can do it here as well even though launch images are storyboards now but let's go ahead and create one of these so i'm going to select app icon we're going to be lazy and get rid of this i don't think i need that anymore and we're going to go ahead and hit create and as you see it puts a folder right here and it's assets.xe assets so let's uh, close that and go back to our xcode and let's move the simulator over and I'm going to first go and delete this app icon uh, image asset in here. I like to leave the one that Xcode uh, creates in terms of this XE assets file, but we're going to open this up and you can ignore the content JSON file and just drag this guy in. And just like that, you've got your app icon good to go and ready. Now, of course, uh, this image that we grabbed had white borders, so it's not the nicest looking. So uh, once again, for demo purposes only definitely take the time and invest into your own app icon but let's go ahead and hit that run button and let's see our awesome looking instagram app icon in action so it'll take a little longer to compile because it's compiling the images but there you have it there is our app icon and uh, we literally put it together in a matter of seconds so i'm um, act in reality creating your actual icon especially in the in the theme of keeping it simple probably takes like 10 minutes but the time consuming bit is generating all these different sizes. So definitely don't uh, waste your time on that. Use this website, totally free. There's a related Mac app, I believe. Or if you wanna uh, support the developer community, there's this, uh, uh, I believe it's called the Image Catalog or Assets Catalog Creator. And there's a pro version and a free version. So take a look at that. And with that, I will wrap up the video. If you haven't hit the like button already, make sure to do so for the YouTube algorithm. Helps you make more videos for all of you keeps the channel going and growing, of course. Comment down below, how do you guys usually do your app icons? I'd love to learn other ways that you guys use. Um, what videos do you wanna see? Anything at all, say hi for the YouTube engagement algorithm. And most importantly, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with new videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.